Mio Console 3D, Part 5. Let's set up a DAW, in this case Pro Tools, template for tracking. Here's a screenshot of my template that I use for tracking into Pro Tools. The edit window. and the mix window. I've created a mono master track with no output. And this is where I like to insert Mio Console Connect. This way every time I open up my Pro Tools template for tracking, Mio Console will open as well. In a future version of Mio Console 3D, all your settings will be saved from within Pro Tools. The ins and outs for my virtual instruments match my Mio Console 3D settings outputs. So in this case, my two stereo virtual instruments are coming in on channels 2930 and 3132. When tracking into Pro Tools, I mute all my recording tracks because we'll be monitoring through Mio Console 3D. That way we have zero latency. A mix of my tracks runs to a master bus, which I put a slight limiting on, and this is really just to catch peaks. The master feeds a listening bus, as well as a rough mix track. I use an analyzer just to make sure that I'm staying within spec. I have reverb send set up as needed. I also have a mono delay set up for a quick stereo effect. I like to send a rough mix of my drums to the mix bus, as well as sending it to a parallel drum compression track. I can bring that drum compression track up into the mix as I need it to really give the drum some punch. You can see my template doesn't have much in the way of plugins. I prefer to get the sound on the way in. My exception is drums. I like to track drums as they are, just in case I need to go extreme on any particular mix. This leaves me a much more open palette to work with. Of course, I do have Mio Strip and Transient Controller on the kick and snare, as well as a simple phase that I use on the bottom snare mic, just in case my snare mics are out of phase. My room is so tiny that I run a delay on my room mic just to create space. It's an illusion, but it seems to work. The only feeds I run to the reverb from my drum track are the snare mics and my parallel compressed track as well as a little bit on the room mic. So even though Mio Console 3D can handle up to 128 I.O., my Pro Tools rig is limited to 32, as you can see in this I.O. window. So I set my metric system to 32 as well. Just makes it easier to remember. Then I create a little screen real estate in my Pro Tools setup. I'll record arm all the tracks I need for my recording and make sure they are muted. This allows for the artist to track directly from Neo Console 3D with no latency. Later when doing overdubs, only the Pro Tools tracks that will be overdubbed will be muted. The artist will listen to a combination of the Pro Tools mix, the host, and their inputs through Neo Console 3D. The click is sent directly to an input in Mio console as well and fed to the cans for the artists. Now that you've seen my Pro Tools setup, let's go to part six, where we can hear the results from a tiny room tracking session into Pro Tools with no control room. <laughs> 